A Supreme Court Justice Olabode Roots Vivo says national security must be visibly threatened before anyone uh, is denied his rights. No one should be denied his rights on the whims and fancies of anyone in authority. He made the statement at a valedictory session in his honor, and TVC News, uh, TVC's judiciary correspondent Celestine Area reports. After spending years as a justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Olabodero's viva bows out of the bench today. Upon the attainment of 70 years of age, which is a mandatory age of retirement of Supreme Court justices, 20 justices of the Supreme Court hold a validatory section in honor of Justice Rose Vivo. Justice Olabode Rose Vivo was born on the 22nd of March 1951 in Lagos Island local government. He started his working career with the Lagos State Ministry of Justice as a pupil state council in 1976 and later became state council in 1978. He reached great height in his judicial career when on 25th April 2005 he was elevated to the Court of Appeal. On 16th September 2010, he was appointed Justice of the Supreme Court. You should try as much as possible to enjoy every moment of your life in retirement. From the depths of our hearts, we say, Happy birthday to you. Speaking on national issues, Justice Olabode Rose Viva says national security must be visibly threatened before anyone is denied his rights, and no one should be denied his rights on whims and fantasies of anyone in authority. He believes that elections in Nigeria are protracted because the stakes are high, which result in most elections being resolved by the court. Corruption exists in all the countries of the earth. Nigeria is no exception. What should be done is to reduce it drastically, thereby making our their country an exception by building credible and transparent systems. In your retirement, give more time to your darling wife, Lady Adit Donyero's rival, senior advocate of Nigeria, one of us. Take a bow. Thank you, my lord. He insists female children are entitled to an inheritance as a customary law which disentitles a female from partaking in her deceased father's estate is a breach of section 42 subsection 1 and subsection 2 of the constitution. In the course of his judicial engagement, Justice Olapode was served in various capacities. In 1999, he was a member of the election petitions tribunal in Imo and River States. From 2003 to 2004, he was also a member of the Election Petitions Tribunal in Anambra and Kwara State. From 2005 to 2006, he served as a member of the Election Appeal Tribunal in Edo State. He was also a member of the Appeal Tribunal in Oyo, Ogun, and Oshun State in 2009. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.